let's talk about hyperbaric oxygen therapy today so the by that term that i say hyperbaric oxygen therapy it says that oxygen which is provided at high pressure hyper means high baric means pressure so when i say this people might start thinking that it is for the people who go for mountain hiking or the deep sea diving and they have these issues and this treatment helps them yes definitely it started with them that was the initiation like how can we prevent the complications in these kind of situations later on they found that this has wide scope of uh, indications like it can be used to revive many of the oxygen deficient areas like to give few examples like chronic non healing wound it could be related to diabetes also what we call diabetic foot or diabetic wound it is like soft tissue necrotizing uh, injury like someone suffers a fracture or a uh, open wound and suddenly the infection spreads in the leg gas gangrene or the soft tissue infection chronic osteomyelitis where the infection has reached the bone and it is not healing at all so all these situations like a post radiation injury or late radiation uh, effects on the body so radiation therapy because cancer is widespread now radiation is also being used radiation technology has improved a lot but still it may have few side effects like uh, bladder uh, infection recurrent infections or osteomyelitis of the jaw the jaw bone can get little infection so all these things when they are take this hyperbaric oxygen therapy it helps in a good recovery they need not undergo the surgery say for chronic non healing wound the last option left for them would be the amputation that is the cutting off or the chopping off of the limb but this treatment would definitely prevent that situation if it is taken a little earlier even if it is taken after a certain stage also it helps in healing to a great extent and with the other surgical support it can be the limb can be saved like one of my patient was trying to name this therapy as bhagirath means one who helped in letting the ganga flow to the areas where it was not there and many cities started coming up when the water or the river flow started same way when the oxygen flow is good in the tissues so wherever there is oxygen deficiencies the area tries to recover or recuperate from the injury the blood flow or the blood uh, vessels start increasing in number over there and it tries to reoxygenate the area and helps in healing or reversing the infection whatever has happened hyperbaric oxygen therapy when we say it is a not a treatment which can be given at home it involves a huge machine so it is a hospital based treatment wherein one patient or person it is similar to a mri machine wherein you go and lie down or sit inside breathe the oxygen completely inside it's a closed chamber and when we are breathing we may have some issues say when we travel by airplane some ear plug or blocks which can be easily addressed and it is one and a half hours of session daily five day five to six days a week for 30 days to 40 days and the healing can be seen wonderfully if you or if anyone known to you is suffering from these conditions say chronic non healing wound especially don't sit on it or don't wait that the wound will heal on its own it might take very long time which includes daily dressing repeated hospital visits and everything the cost to it is added definitely it might also get worsened by the infection spreading to the deeper uh, bones and leading to amputation as well so if you take the treatment now or if you start the treatment early we can avoid all these complications and would make the patient be as independent as possible so we at asta hospital here have the machine the monoplace chamber we have the person who are trained in the hyperbaric oxygen therapy i myself i am a trained physician for the treatment i assess the patient initially and then we give the uh, therapies in a guided way on a day to day basis i am dr sumalata consultant physical medicine and rehabilitation at asta hospitals bangalore